Black Journalist Associations. Accusation of Racism. Chicago. Broadcast Love and Use Discernment. By Christine Preston. Christine Preston, Messenger 4, Celestial Sources, Archangels, Ascended Masters, and Andre the Ascended Twin Flame. Christine Preston is a messenger in service for the Great White Brotherhood. Christine communicates through telepathic communication. Christine daily communicates with Archangel Michael, Andre her Ascended Twin Flame, and other celestial beings. Andre is Christine's Ascended Twin Flame. Christine was related to Andre, and they were cousins in this lifetime. He passed away in 1972. When Andre was alive he taught Christine, Theosophy. Christine was a teenager at the time. Andre ascended in 2012 and now is Christine a guardian. Andre incarnated amongst the Andromedans. I will be repeating what has been taught for decades in spiritual circles, but I don't hear it in the videos I have watched so I have to pass this on again. The accusation that President Trump is a racist is ridiculous. The problem with the Black Journalist Association of Chicago when accusing President Trump of hating and being a racist is that they don't know the difference between having an opinion, which is an intellectual activity, and a prejudice or emotional reaction. It indeed is an accepted fact that the definition of racism is a form of prejudice that includes negative emotional reactions to members of a group, acceptance of negative stereotypes, and racial discrimination against individuals. Whereas some individuals take their prejudice to the length of violence, to have an opinion is intellectual, and it comes naturally to some people to remain neutral where emotions are concerned. It is them, the accusers, who are stirring up racism with their smearing campaigns and slanders. Analysts are saying that they are extremist in their views. They should perhaps let the pendulum swing back to the middle. One should not be constantly resurrecting past mistakes, if any. We have all made them. Nobody is perfect but when people have had an epiphany, or have awakened to a new vision, as well as a path of righteousness, all can be pardoned by the forces of heaven, erased, and be as if reborn, the old self being inexistent. This should be a principle and everybody's position. That is the teachings of Saint Germain, the hierarch of the Aquarian Age and Son of Man, who dispenses the violet flame, a power of forgiveness. We should not have to keep on hearing accusations and references to President Trump's past divorce, which is ancient history. As a human being, although he is beginning to appear superhuman due to his stamina, he may not have been immune to the problems of relationship that we all have had in past decades, human nature being what it is, or for other reasons such as destiny, or the fact that awakened souls are drawn to the romantic calling of a sacred quest for the twin flame at this time. Life does not always permit to find the perfect partner at the first attempt. We receive the lessons of life through our relationships and destiny leads us to them. In connection with that is the great mystery that we were created in the likeness and image of our Creator. This means we reflect the dual polarity of the Father-Mother Divinity. All creation is endowed with this dual polarity, even electricity. Only Almighty God is judge so we must refrain from judging in the sense of condemnation, and we should know that the process is different from an instant discernment or intellectual analysis, which takes place via the pineal gland, or third eye chakra. What people have done in the past is irrelevant as everyone is changing. We still reap karma in a measure that is not ours to know. We have all experienced an activation of discernment in this age and are emerging from an era when truth has been suppressed. It has been the dark power's strategy to keep us uninformed, so we don't even become aware of its presence. The dark forces have dodged karma, and the guilt has been put on mankind. However, there is a divine plan for a victory of the light and the archangels are providing protection from those negative powers. I received a dictation from the Master Jesus about the smearing of Donald Trump in 2016, and the title of which was Broadcast Love, Not Hate. The video is on Matt McElroy's channel. Kamala Harris' movement does not seem to be looking to the future, despite her preaching. It is attempting to resurrect a grudge against the white race because they don't understand that the problem was not one of skin color in the first place, but a social one, 
and that white people of a lower social status, hundreds of years ago, were victims, to a similar degree as black people who we are told by historians, were taken into slavery. For instance, some colonists migrated from Europe in the first place to escape from oppressive taxation, restricted freedoms, limited resources, internal divisions, and the formidable military power of Britain. It has been said that their determination for self-governance and liberty ultimately fueled their successful quest for independence. As regards the slavery experienced by the black race, but it has been condemned. The Puritans fled from England to the Netherlands to escape persecutions, and to the New World in 1620 where they established Plymouth Plantation. In Britain, about 300 years ago, it was thanks to Oliver Cromwell who was called our Lord Protector during the last five years of his life, that people were liberated from the domination and cruelty of the royalty of the time. In the 1700s, some individuals in power did have a complex of superiority and that's why they treated the American natives so badly. Should we ask whether they, themselves, were victims of indoctrination because they believed that the red-skinned natives were not endowed with a soul? It is even erroneous to not recognize that animals have a soul, or group soul. The way to move forward is to roll up your sleeves, instead of casting yourselves as victims and calling for a rebellion saying that the white race is supremacist, as this creates more division. Be aware that you may be falling for the strategies of darkness and lack discernment. Archangel Michael stated in 2016 that the former president is the only person able to oppose the establishment. It means that heaven has his back. And it's been proven. Ask yourselves whether you have been indoctrinated with ideas of political correctness by people who appeared to be eloquent but did the opposite of what they promised. Learn to analyze their policies and gain discernment about what is good for the whole nation. What are the basic requirements when some of you don't have enough money to feed your families? Listen to Trump's explanations. Closing the border is essential because when 16 million people invade your country, services don't have the money to care for them, and you will end up lacking in something because the money will have to be diverted. Then look what he did in 2016 and you will experience a recovery of the economy. You know, don't you? That Biden overturned everything Trump had put in place as soon as he got in the White House in 2020. That is what caused the decline, but there also was corruption and lies. In academic circles they insist it is important to learn from primary sources because a report by another person can be distorted. We know that some of the media is adept at doing that for political propaganda. So, it would be a good idea to hear Donald Trump's speeches. Don't forget that something, a power, or shadow government, has pulled the strings to stage the landing of the moon. They probably set up the stage for Trump's assassination so the 20-year-old shooter would be blamed, but some clips show a second and third shooter. Are you underestimating what is going on? Are you being fooled by the talks of the intelligence service being incompetent? There is a very vicious intelligence masterminding the whole thing, don't be fooled. President Trump wants to restore peace and make America great again, and this is only possible in the sense of for everybody, whatever their skin color. Ask yourself whether the force of darkness made you insensitive? Know that the adversary of God and his creation, the Luciferian, or force of darkness, have created wars by raising one against the other. It's time for this to stop and, by the way, be reassured by the fact that Archangel Michael has repeated that the forces of the light will prevent any third world war from happening.